So guys, one of the number one things people complain about when it comes to blow dryer attachments is that they fall off. So today I'm going to show you how I rig my blow dryer attachment so it won't fall off. And this works like 98% of the time. So I have my favorite blow dryer, which is the Rusk Speed Freak blow dryer. And I have the Willie Morrow comb attachment. It's, it says that it's um, unbreakable. <laughs> and it has instructions on the back. And I have some blue painter's tape. I have used other tape with this technique I'm getting ready to show you, but the blue painter's tape is the one that works the best and gives you the best results and longevity because you need something that's going to be able to withstand the heat from the blow dryer. And this is the only thing that I know that works. I've tried other tapes. This one is the one that works. And then, of course, a pair of scissors because you're going to have to cut the tape. Okay, so I'm going to go on ahead and take the nozzle off of the blow dryer because you won't be needing this anymore. I'm also going to open up my package. I got this on Amazon and it was, I think, like $20. And this is actually the third one I purchased. And it comes with little attachments on the inside. And then the comb attachment. Another thing you'll need is a screwdriver, a flathead or a Phillips head will do because there's a little screw there. Let me see if I can show you close up. There's a little screw there that you're going to have to screw and unscrew. I don't have one, so because I'm rigging, I'm a rigger, that's what I do. I'm going to be using a duckbill clip and it works wonders and I'll be using the back end of it. It works wonders for helping me tighten and untighten my screw. Okay, so. I know that a lot of times when you buy comb attachments, they come with these little rings and it keeps popping off. And I mean, they do, they do help it fit the blow dryer. It really does. The ring's going really well and it, it helps it fit fantastic. But the problem that you run into is when you're uh, blow drying the hair, it pops off, especially if you're doing a super thick hair, it keeps popping off. So we want to make it to where it doesn't pop off at all. So if you're doing somebody, if you're, if your hair is really super thick or if you're, uh, um, hairstylist and you're doing customers that have super thick hair, this ain't gonna cut it. So I have developed a rig specifically to keep the blow dryer attachment from coming off. Now I will say that it's not 100% foolproof, but 98% of the time it works fantastic. And I rarely, I, I have to adjust it sometimes, I have to tighten it sometimes, but it rarely ever falls off. When I say really, I mean really. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this tape. You will not be needing the rings. You can, really in actuality, you can just throw these in trash. But you might wanna keep them for later on, I don't know. I never keep them, I always throw them away. Okay. So now I have my comb attachment and what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to take my little duckbill uh, clip and I'm just going to take the back end of it and unscrew and I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you how it goes. This is very tight. Okay, it's coming. Screwdriver probably would have worked better, but I didn't feel like going downstairs to get it. It's starting to move. Okay, so this little ring moves, and that's gonna make it easier <laughs> for me to unscrew it. You can tell this is a brand new one because I never have this much problem unscrewing <laughs> with the duckbill.
Okay, y'all might have to go get a screwdriver. I'll be right back. So now I'm back with my, my screwdriver. I have a flat head. Because you can use either oil on this. And I'm just going to unscrew the screw. That's a lot better. Should have had one of those in the first place. I was being lazy. <laughs> and I'm just going to take the assembly apart so you can see exactly what it looks like in there. Okay. So the ring comes off. That's the ring. And th this is the um, attachment. Mm. And it has another ring on the inside too. Like a, another ring, which I forgot that it had in there because it's been a long time since I bought one. Like years, these, these literally last years and years and years and years. And for now, I'm gonna leave that ring on the inside because I think I always leave it on the inside. I literally have had my comb attachments for probably close to 10 years without them breaking. So they're definitely unbreakable. Even though I have heard a story of somebody breaking it, but I don't know how because I do a lot of hair and a lot of thick hair and they, they just bought it for themselves and they said they broke it. Now I don't understand how. You must have been doing something crazy to be able to break this. This is my third one. I have two other ones that have not broken. And let me show you guys one of the ones that I use on a regular basis. Okay, this is one that I already have. And it is not broken. I've, I've probably had this for close to a decade. Same blow dryer, Willie Marl comb, comb attachment, not broken. I use it every single day, all day. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go on ahead and put this back on. I don't know how I got it off. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put it back on. And I'm going to tighten it just a little bit. I want it to be close to where I need it to be. So I'm going to tighten it just a little bit. Yeah. Get on there. Okay. So the trick is when you, um, uh, finally attach it to have this this uh, part where the, the um, little screw is to have it in the middle because this kind of, this protects people's scalps and ears and stuff because it does get hot but sometimes it does move and you can just reposition it I'm gonna get it on here a little bit more snug than what I have it because I need for it to be pretty close to where it needs to be when I start putting the tape together, putting the tape on. Okay. Let me loosen it a little bit. It's too snug. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take the paint of tape. So I need, I need for some give to be there. You see how there's a little bit of give, a little bit of space. I don't know if you can see that. But I just need a little bit of space, a little bit of crack there. So I can actually get it onto the blow dryer. And let me let me test it and see if it fits already. Let's see. So it doesn't fit the blow dryer at all. Even with the ring on the inside. Now if you put, let's put another ring in there. Let's see if it fits. It's too much. It doesn't fit properly. So that's just gonna fall off as soon as it touches the hair. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some painter's tape. Let me find the beginning of it. Y'all, sometimes you be having to rig stuff up because it don't always come the way you want it. And me, I never really follow instructions or anything 100%. <laughs> I always had to find a more efficient way or a way to do it, do it my way. And if you want to call it ghetto rigging, that's what I be doing. I be ghetto rigging. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the tape. And I'm going to start applying the tape, not at the edge of it, because what's going to happen is, is if you put it right at the edge, when the tape starts heating up, it's going to melt down to the edge. 
of the blow dryer. And where's my other blow dryer? Let me see if I can show you how I have this one. This one has been like this. I had this blow dryer is like a year old, I think. And it definitely uh, probably needs to be redone as far as the attachment is concerned. But let me see if, if the tape is still like intact as to where I put it originally. Probably not. I can't get you off of there. And since I have this, this attachment, I can look and see if I took the ring from the inside out. Okay. So you see how the tape moves? So every so often you have to go in and take this off and redo the rig. You see how the tape moved? <laughs> I didn't realize it. Okay, so yes, I do keep the ring on the inside. I do keep it on the inside. And this drawer is so busted. I literally need to stop using this drawer like right now. <laughs> it's so busted. I don't even think it dries but at 50%. So what I'm gonna do is, just to show you an example of where I'm gonna place it, I'm gonna place the tape about maybe like a quarter inch above the nozzle. Above where the nozzle um, is. That way when it starts heating up, this, when it moves down, it won't, it'll, it'll take time to move down because the tape doesn't, like the first time that you use it doesn't move down, it takes time after time after time for the tape to start moving down. And so now I'm just going to start wrapping more tape around the dryer. making sure that I stay within that quarter inch that I said I was gonna do. Okay, so it's getting kind of wonky there, so I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna press the tape into the dryer. And let me show you what it looks like. Didn't have to be perfect. And I'm just pressing that into there. So now we have some tape on there, we're gonna see how it fits. So it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, but I needed just a tiny bit more snug. So I'm gonna go in with maybe another round. We'll do it around two times. One, two. And I'm hoping that that's good. One thing I love about painter's tape is that you can just do it with your, you can just tear it with your hands, with your fingers. And so I'm gonna press it in. And then I'm gonna measure. Mm, that feels pretty snug. I think I need, mm, no, it's not snug enough because that came off too easily. Let me go with another couple of rounds. Let's do three, because you can always back it up and take the tape off. Like, you can always back it up and take tape off if you need to. All right, so I'm gonna press that on. And we're gonna try again. Ooh, that feels good. Yes, that feels really good. I like the way this feels. That feels nice. Okay, so now that it's in, um, the position that I want it to be in because it's nice and snug it's not going to come off at this point I'm going to go on ahead and secure it and tighten it all the way all the way snug Oh, wait a minute, I gotta make sure that it's, it's in between that little cubby. <laughs> Let me move it to the cubby. <laughs> there we go. 
So let me go on ahead and tighten it down all the way now. And if you're just like a person who bought the blow dryer for themselves, then you probably won't have to do this too often. You might do it once and then be done with it for the, the life of the blow dryer. But somebody who uses a blow dryer for, you know, five, six hours a day, <laughs> I definitely have to redo this. Okay, so now it's on. And I'm literally pulling. Ugh. Can you see, like, me flexing there? I'm literally pulling and it's not coming off. It's not coming off. Mm. It's not coming off. And so it's, it's on there. It's definitely on there. And it's not gonna go anywhere. So let me go ahead and do a little demonstration of me blow drying my hair so you can see, you know, how it works and how it does stay on. And my hair is very coarse, so yeah. So there it is, my blow dry rig. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. Stay updated on all my awesome hair videos. Join me on my hair journey and help keep me accountable. I love you guys and thanks so much for your support. Have a fantastic day. Bye.